Good day, Divergence Traders. Didn't see no frickin' di Divergence today. <laughs> oh, shit. Looking at the five minute and the two minute wasn't really any different. But there was Divergence, a double top way up here. Yeah, yeah, there was. Are you going to get in? Like, I don't know what kind of traders get in before the stock market opens. This is the stock market right here when it opened. 9.30. I won't get in because usually my dumb luck or bad luck, it'll go the wrong way. So that's why I won't get in until I see the movement and the direction after the stock market opens. So, so there was, uh, since the stock market opened right here, there was no trade all along here. All that I did is just fucking grind all the way down very slow. Look, it's still doing it. They're, they're, they're suckering people into buying right here now. To, they think People are thinking, oh, it's going to go back up. It's probably fucking not. Uh, it's probably going down another. It's going to go through the 400s. It's going to go down. That's what I think anyway. Um, but you got to trade what you see, not what you think, right? So who knows what it's going to do. Okay, that's the five minute. I'll show you the two minute. There was a trade on the two minute. I actually did it. Um, but uh, I'm still not happy with what freaking happened today. The way the. Yesterday was so awesome for divergence, man. And then look at the shit they do with you here today, eh? Yeah, fuck. Motherfuckers. Okay, anyway, there's a trade there. It went down. It definitely went down. So if you would have got in, that would have been the place to get in. Um, let me just make it a bit bigger. You can see it. So you had all this cross up, cross down, cross up. You could draw, could have drew, drew it from here also. Um, and got in somewhere in here. Um, I got in right in here somewhere. So I know it wasn't long after I got in. Then we finally made a new low here. But yeah. Anyway, that's the trade on the two-minute NASDAQ. That is hidden divergence, hard-to-see divergence is what I call it. But that wasn't very hard for me to see. It was actually very easy um, once you know what to look for. Okay, let's look at the S&P. Yeah, they came and they just basically sold off of yesterday's high. See, here's yesterday's high right here. I put the white line there. And look at how they took it from the high to the low of yesterday. This is the low of yesterday. See, right here, the low of yesterday. This is the day separation line. That's why I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, how critically important it is that before you start trading, put a line at the top, at the, you know, the high of the day of yesterday and the low of the day of yesterday. And you're going to see so many times where they're either going to be buying off the low of yesterday and taking it to the high of yesterday, or they're going to be selling from the high of yesterday and taking it down to the low of yesterday. You see that, ladies and gents? Please remember that. That is that is one thing out of anything you trade. you got to put those lines on your chart so that you know that, hey, this could be, you know, maybe don't, don't sell down here because... Or buy here because we're at the freaking low of yesterday we've ran from the high to the low of yesterday yeah okay let's go to the two minute now was there a trade here yeah it's right here it's right there 
Probably would have been better off trading the S&P today. See what it got in there, and down it goes. And you can see here, see? They're probably going to take it to new lows yet today, um, but... It's done now. Trading was done basically half an hour ago. So anyway, that was your trade to go down. Right there. And up here, yeah, this is the open right here. There's no divergence up here. No hidden divergence. No nada. Let's look at the pound. Doesn't show my box till the price moves. There it is. <laughs> oh, crazy ninja trader. Believe it or not, there's trades here, ladies and gentlemen. There's one up here, too. Now that I just looked up there. <laughs> Let me show you all the trades. There's about three of them. Right here. And you would have got short in here. And it had the po uh, point potential of 46 points. Okay. Then we have a low and a lower low and even lower lows right there. Yes, you can strike through the candles. You can stri strike through lower lows too. Okay, and I drew it from there because if I if I drew it from here to here, this won't be divergent. See, <laughs> so you gotta you gotta do some little maneuvering <laughs> to make sure. And uh, yeah, so even if we did draw it from from here to here, oh, I got too many things in the fucking chart. Even if I did draw it from here to here, there's there's no. Is there a divergence? Um, that would be from here to here. Yeah, you may have saw that as divergence and buy right there, and uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been good. You would have had to get out right there with a loss. Okay, but then if you were brave enough to do it again and, and wait for this now, this is a better setup, and I am not going to say why. It's in my course. This here is a better setup than this one. Than from, drawing from here, here, actually from here to here. Anyway. And then up here we have a high and higher high. Yeah. Um. Lately, I've got a few new subscribers. Um, I just want to say thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it, and I hope you keep coming back and uh, hitting the like button. And and hopefully you're learning some good setups, and you can get better at it yourself. And just conquer the markets. Okay, let's see how many points this went down. Uh, only 24, but 24 is better than the door. And what about the euro? What did it do? It's on the 15. Let's try the 5. There it is. Oh, yeah, nice sidewinder. But there is divergence, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show ya. Um, we have a low and a retracement and a lower low. Oh, that's drawing at one. Ah, oh, it's just some little ones there. It's drawing it a little farther than I tend to like, but 
it worked out anyway. Uh, once this candle would have closed up above the two moving averages, you would have said, hey, it looks like it's going to work out. So let's let's jump in right here on the opening of that candle right there. So if you jumped in there, right, max potential was 63 points. That's a, that's a move, man, for the Euro. That's a freaking good move. Oh, yeah, man. And then here's the next one, but it's kind of late in the day, eh? Um, yeah, it's right here. It's right here. We got this darn thing in the way. See that? That's divergent. Yeah. So where would have we got in? It's like right here. I think it's right here. Yeah. It's right on the opening of this candle. And it went down. 20, 20 points. Yeah. Let's see. You would have got something out of that. Let's take a look at the last uh, instrument of the day, oil. They took a little dive today, and then it shot back up. I wonder what made it dive. I'm thinking this dive here was something to do with the United Auto Workers or something. Um, not sure. I bought the dip. I'm still in it. I think it's going to 100 bucks, man. Okay. Oil's going to go to 100 bucks, And if, you know, Mr. B, you know who Mr. B is? He goes up on the podium and, and mumbles and stumbles? Yeah, that guy. Won't say his name. That's a no-no on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, if he really wants to take this serious, which he has f for years... We're going to see over $100. Maybe the all-time high, I remember, it was back, uh, I think it was 88, 89. No, not 89. Nine, I mean, 2008, 2009. There, I'm a little bit off there, sorry. It went to 147 bucks or something, a barrel of oil. So if they really want to, you know... Inflate us again with inflation? Well, it's going to go to 200. That's that's what I'm thinking. Long term, I'm th I'm thinking the next six months to a year. It could stop before then, but that's where I think oil's going. Okay, let's see. Is there is there is there a setup? Yeah, there's a setup to sell right here on the open today. Okay, and it was good. It was good. This is it. High and higher high. See that? And high and a lower high. See? And, uh, um, sometimes I, I, I lose my thought. I'm so sorry. Like, like I told you, I've been in, injured by the jab. So sometimes a little slow in my brain doesn't catch up. But I assure you, what I'm showing you here is still good and valid, 100%. Um, okay, just trying to find the right deal. So right here, look at the potential on that, eh? 123 ticks. There was no, there's no trade to buy here other than the five crossing up above the seven, and you buy it, and up it goes. This is on the five minute. I don't know. We can uh, look at the two minute. What did the two minute give us? Oh, the two minute was beautiful. The two minute saved us. I wish I was trading oil today, but I wasn't. Uh, not now, anyway. Okay. This is the trade. Low and lower low. Well, actually, I'm actually drawing that from the wrong spot. Right there. Okay. Just like that. So we got in right there. And the potential was 
all the way to the top over here. 136 points, man. Picks, whatever. Yippers. There's actually another trade. Let me show you the, the other trade. Right here. See that little orange doodah? That's right there, man. It's right there. Let me see if it lines up, okay? Oh, yeah. See that? See that dip and it lines up perfectly to the bigger one out of the three little doodahs? Right there. See that? Ah, I can't even hold it still. There. Right there, man. That's divergence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, off. Okay. So, what I got long right in there. So, here was a setup here. Let's just see if you're trying to scalp. There's 44 points. And this one had the potential of 87 points. Look at that, man. Look at those two beautiful trades on oil, huh? Mozi Tabernak. Oh, yeah, they're good. They're good. Okay. Once again, this is Jason Sweezy, and I like to trade divergence for one very, very critical reason. It works, and it'll work for you too. You just got to apply it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Listening, and if you could be so kind to hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it because it's free to like. It's free to subscribe, you know, so why not, right? Okay, have a great weekend, good luck, and good trading.